to Eastern Illinois. Let's head over to Quim Hall where things really happen. Oh, material testing lab. Let's go on in and see what Brian's doing. Hey, welcome back to materials testing everyone. Today we're going to be talking about the Rockwell hardness test. Now for this we have a couple different types of materials for you to use. This right here is our uh, mystery specimen. But first what we want to do, we want to put it onto our anvil. And if we have different anvils right here, or different test specimens, you're going to want to make sure that it applies to what you need. So for this, it's just going to be a flat piece of material like that. But for a piece of round stock like this, we have other kinds of anvils that we place on here, like so. But we're going to be doing a flat piece of material right now. I also want to talk about our penetrator. Penetrator is what is actually indenting the piece of material. Uh, this is our C penetrator, C braille. And there's a couple different other ones for the type of material that you're going to need, but for this, we're going to be using the C braille. And we just go and tighten it up. Now, first thing we want to do is take our handbrake, pull it back like that, and we're going to take our hand wheel and we're going to tighten it up. Bring it this way. And we're going to want to make sure that we don't have any of the divots touching the penetrator. So now we're going to tighten it and we have our one dial and our long needle. We're going to want to line that up with this little dot here. Line that up with the line behind it. And we're going to take and zero it out, which is right there. Uh, the middle black lines for the C, there's also a B and there's other ones, but we're just going to worry about the C for now. So now that everything's zero, we're going to let go of our crank handle. Wait for our long needle to stop moving, which could take a couple seconds. And we're going to pull the crank handle back one more time. And this is our final reading right there at about 45. So we're going to release our crank handle one more time before we take it out. Loosen it up. And that is our test. We're going to want to make sure that we do this another two times. Pretty much the same thing. A lot of the things from our analog are still here, like our anvil and our penetrator. But the only thing that's really not here is a crank handle. Instead, what we do, we're going to load up our specimen, tighten it up a little bit. And now you see the minor load right here is just, you see one little red bar. Now we're going to keep pulling it. until it says set. It's going to be testing now. And that is our reading for this. Now we could just unload it by bringing our hand wheel down. And that's it. Again, you just want to make sure that whenever you do do a test for any type of material, you want to do it three times. You want to have three recordings. And then we're just going to reset our data and input our numbers.